people liked, he decided to take a very small bite. <coughs> Maybe Francine was right. Maybe Brussels sprouts were delicious. Maybe not. Olivia quickly reached for her water glass to wash it down. But oops, she knocked one of the Brussels sprouts out of her bowl. And it rolled off the table and onto the white carpet. Francine's mother and father were not pleased. Olivia and Francine were told to sit at the kids' table. Are you mad at me? asked Franc Francine. Why would I be mad? asked Olivia. Because of the Brussels sprouts and the no jokes at the table, replied Francine. And well, I was afraid you wouldn't be my friend anymore. Of course, we're still friends, replied Olivia. And you should come to dinner at my house. But I thought you didn't want to have dinner at her house. Mm -hmm. I think I could have missed it. Later that week, it was finally Francine's turn to come to Olivia's house for dinner. It was spaghetti night again. I've never seen anyone do that before, said Francine, and as she watched Leon swirl his spaghetti. Try it, said Leon. I'll race you, said Olivia. Turns out Francine was a natural. That, ni that night, as Olivia's mother tucked her into bed, Olivia had one thing on her mind. Can we have spaghetti again tomorrow night, she asked. That's a little too soon. Don't you think, said Olivia's mother. Okay, good night, Mom, Olivia yawned. Sweet dreams, Olivia, whispered her mother as she turned off the light and closed the door. Great job, Rhea. Y'all give Rhea a hand. Yeah. Are there any comments about the book? Anything you want to share? <laughs> I gave her a hand. Uh oh.